another day. Well, I think so. It's hard for me to tell. I open my eyes and look out across the room. It's the same room I've seen every morning for years, and yet, somehow, it's like I've never even seen it before. This is the ironic reality for those of us living with depersonalization disorder, a constant, unrelenting, dreamlike state that removes the very essence of your being and robs life of all meaning. I do the same things as everybody else, but to me, none of them seem as though they're actually happening. Each morning, I look at the same long-haired, flabby figure in the mirror, but I don't recognise them. Common sense says the reflection staring back at me is me, but the image feels unfamiliar. They're a stranger to me. The water washes over in much the same way as life itself. Each moment that arrives is just as bewildering and hollow as the one just passed. And as I begin to prepare myself for another day trapped inside my own head, I have to ask the question, why? Why have I become like this? Breakfast. Coffee, cornflakes, and a fistful of pills. They say these might one day make me feel a bit better, but nothing yet. Just exhaustion and a bit of nausea. There's a series of fundamental disconnects, and none of them make any sense to me. How can you continue to do normal, everyday things whilst feeling like you've been mentally tranquilized? How can you understand that your life is real, yet be overwhelmed with a sense that you're not actually living in it? We all try to follow our dreams, to achieve great things, to be happy and financially all right. But as others chase their futures, climbing ever higher and higher and higher, when you're many rungs down that ladder, treading water and with your thoughts frozen in time, some of us just aren't able to admire the view. How can you look through your own eyes at anything, yet feel nothing at all? My mind is just empty. Everybody and everything rushes past, and nothing about me has the ability to keep up, even for a second. All the amazing things in life, the power of nature, the relationships we forge, our technical achievements, people's amazing talents, immersive, intense performances, the wonders of the world, eating the most incredible food, those once-in-a-lifetime experiences, the bizarre, the new and unique challenges, they're all flat, two-dimensional, missing that fundamental component that hits you where it matters. Can you imagine what it's like to have to tell your partner that you're unable to feel love for them? Yeah, that's not an easy one. I wish I had the freedom to be somewhere else, to be somebody else, or just feel anything at all. Headaches. I get them a lot. A couple of these usually do the trick. It's hard to find the motivation for anything in life when you feel as though you're slowly disappearing, just fizzling out into a nothingness. And how I wish that this would take away the rest of the suffering too. It's nobody's dream to be 28 and still living with their parents, trust me on that. Yet, I carry on, awkwardly participating in the charade of life, all the while feeling like I'm not really here. Or, for me, life isn't really there. Fun, eh? And despite feeling drained and struggling to feel any emotions whatsoever, it's terrifying. Will I be this way forever? Outwardly, I know I seem fine. Only a few people in my life ever get a real glimpse of what's actually going on inside. But, like focusing only on the small details and not the bigger picture, all that ever hits home are the very smallest fragments of what's actually going on around me. Life just passes by quickly, yet very, very slowly. An instant feels like an eternity, yet the eternity evaporates in an instant. I keep myself busy. It's the best thing I've found to do to stop myself worrying about how I am. Trying hard to ground myself and distract myself with all the things that I enjoy, and still working towards those life goals in whatever small ways I can. Yet, motivating yourself to do even those things is a challenge when you feel like you're isolated in your own little movie. And when you can't even watch the final edit of that movie, then why start shooting it in the first place? Exhaustion. You know when your alarm goes off and you have that brief second where dreams and reality kind of blur together? 
Life with depersonalization is like existing only within that one second, feeling like you're floating and never really knowing whether you're just still asleep. It's all one great big nightmare. But I'm still able to function. How? It makes no sense. My friends can't believe that the person they sit laughing with is also attending a psychiatric hospital. And I'm with them on that. I don't understand it either. I just feel like a small fish in a big pond, confused and daunted by the enormity of everything going on around me as it swirls over my head. Every night, it's a relief to get to bed, to have survived another day, somehow. Sleeping is the only time that I'm mentally at peace. And the following morning, as with all mornings, my first thought is simple. I hope that one day I might just wake up.